Exercise 17 is again relating stoichiometry now into what we've been using with the solutions. So we have the same general steps as when we're doing stoichiometry with anything else. You need to have a balanced chemical equation uh, and then you need to convert into moles of the substance you have, then use mole ratios to convert to the substance you're looking for, and then solve for whatever you need after that. So for this equation, or for this question, you have 25 milliliters of 0 0.75 molar, so there's a volume, and there's a concentration, HCl. How many grams of sodium bicarbonate, there's one unknown, are required to react completely with the acid? And then how many grams of salt are produced? So we really have two unknowns for this one. The way I'm going to start off is, of course, I need to have an equation. So I have a note that I have HCl, and then it says how many grams of sodium bicarbonate, so that's my other reactant, NaHCO3, react with the acid. So the salt that's produced, this is a double replacement reaction, Na and Cl, and then I also have carbonic acid, H2CO3, which hopefully you recognize that that will actually split and become H2O and CO2. Alrighty, so looking at the equation overall, even in this form, it is still a balanced usable chemical equation, particularly because we're not looking for the CO2 or the water, so we can just leave it as a molecular equation. I can start off with what I'm given, which is 25 milliliters, which is 0 0.025 liters. Just divide by 1,000 there, move the decimal over three places. And then I have 0 0.750 molar, which is moles of HCl per liter. Uh oh, I'm going to run out of space. And then I can go back to my balanced equation and I need to go from moles of HCl to the first thing I'm looking for is the sodium bicarbonate. So moles of sodium bicarbonate. So one mole of HCl on the bottom to one mole of baking soda on the top. I'm going to multiply down here, excuse me. Uh, and then I need grams. So one mole of sodium bicarbonate so I need its molar mass. And if I just estimate, essentially, I'll be okay. Sodium is 23, plus hydrogen is 1, plus carbon is 12, plus 3 oxygens, that's 48. Then I can add all those up. And I get 84 grams per mole. Then I can multiply everything through 0 0.025 times 0.75 times 1 times 84. And that gives me then 1.575 grams, which I should probably then round. I only have three sig figs and three sig figs, so it'd be pretty safe to round to three sig figs as usual. 1.58 grams of sodium bicarbonate. Let's see if I can do a little better on the spacing on part B here. Okay, for part B, now I want to know how many grams of the salt are produced. I can either take my previous portion of the equation or I can start over. So 0 0.025 liters of 0 0.750 moles per liter HCl. Oh, I'm not going to do any better. Look there. And then now I need to go from moles of HCl to moles of the salt. So in the equation, it's still a one-to-one -one ratio. One mole of HCl from here, one mole of NaCl from here, and then finally we want grams again, so I need molar mass. And then molar mass of NaCl is 23 plus 35.45.
gives me 58.45 grams per mole. And then I can multiply through again. 0 0.025 times 0 0.75 times 58.45. And that gives me 1.0959 grams, which I will then round to three significant figures, 1.10 grams of NaCl. And that's our stoichiometry practice.